Hey guys, we'll be here once again. This is take two because for some reason the earphone where the mic was actually got out of my ear, so I actually have to do yes. a full blown re recording for this entire video. This is the news that's that's taking effect it right now. Literally, right now. So we're going to go into the uh, character adjustments for Edge. As you can see here, you have the command ability. Shot base, his count goes up to 2, 7 from 5. And smoke screen, that goes, the, the base use count goes up 2, 3 from 1. I mean, you can see what's going on here. I mean, sadly, this is not enough to make him relevant. I mean, I'm going to say that right now. With the event draw, you're going to see here, like Coach's event, it's pretty much all 35, all 15. And these are the, the six weapons they are going to be, you get a 15% chance of getting, because that 90% chance, you have to divide it by the number of weapons featured in the banner, in this case it's six. It's pretty much going to be this way, at least for the foreseeable future. So it's something you really have to think about when you do your 10 plus one draw. Do you really want to try to chase something and you know you have a small chance at, at getting it? So so that's something I think about nowadays when I do my pulls. Because it's like with this banner, Palam's banner, I like Final Fantasy IV. However, Palam's not one is not one of my favorite characters. Sadly, <laughs> Edge would probably have been the only one I probably would have been pulling for. Sadly, he is not enough for me to want to pull on this bear. So for me, it's a 100% skip. However, you guys want to do, if you, if you want to pull on this, it's entirely up to you. So you have all the weapons here. So the 35 CP weapons go and talk. Usually, actually, I want to say they use. So the but, uh, let me rephrase that, folks. So the 35 CP weapon actually gives some type of boost to the second command ability when you obtain Crystal Strength 20. Crystal Crystal Strength level 20. So once you get that crystal strength up to 20, it's the second ability, and that's where the 35 CP weapon helps. So this is Palau's 35 CP weapon right here, as well as Edge's 35 CP weapon, and as well as Vanille's 35 CP weapon. So this is the 15 CP weapon for Palau, as well as the one for Edge. And vanille. So for me, the only weapon I would be going targeting is actually this one, the Ashura from for Edge, because it actually gives makes his some of his abilities even better. But sadly, this is not going to be enough for me to want to pull. I mean, there's arm, there's weapon tokens coming pretty soon. We don't know when that is. And then when it comes to the EX weapons, the EX here. So we don't know. There's a date we don't have that at the moment. I know. A little later on this week, we're getting the trial of the brothers, which is the Earth Elemental expert that we have. And I'm actually going to be looking forward to doing like doing the, um, leveling up brothers like the best I can. So now we're going to go to the Bishfist Black Mage Palama event. I mean, the only banner I probably will be kept, be caught pulling like a little bit is actually going to be Ridia's because Ridia yes. likes Celeste, like Lightning, like Fang, who's going to be coming sometime next year. And Fang's banner is going to come right before Seven. So those are the back to back bears I will be pulling on because those two have a special place in my heart. Um, see here. So this is the um, the EX quest, and then you have the cutscene, guilt, the guilty prankster. That's the cutscene you need to watch to make Palam your ally. So this is the command command abilities: bluff, and and ice crystal. So he kind of uses the power of ice. Then his uh, let's see here, what do you have here? Then his unique five star armor, which is a black rope. I actually like this combination for him, for him and other units like him. Max bravery goes up by to 20, raises attack by 72, and this will be at the armor token exchange. And this is your featured characters right here. So you guys. 
get all this oh, stats. Then, like the character event, this is where you're gonna see at the uh, at, at the uh, token exchange. You're gonna see 300 gems all together. Got 21 draw tickets, 600 Decidia points, six stamina point potions, five oh, armor tokens. Man. Then you're gonna have a ton. You're gonna have an unlimited supply of power orbs and guard orbs, and this is the four star version. So you have the times three and the times 15. Then when it comes to the Adoga artifacts, it's the four star going to five star. You got Palam Edge of Vanille there. Then you have your cr cluster shards and crystals. That's gonna be red, black, and blue. I mean, so. So there's that, and then let me see here. Got the token. So this is a solo EX quest. I won't be sadly won't be able to try it, but that's because I have a bunch of real life stuff that I need to take care of. Then you have the boss here, the Crimson Lizard. So so this is right here. So weak to ice, thunder, and magic. It's resistance to fire. So when it comes down to espers you want to use, you really want to not come in with effort. You really do not. Ifrit is the last expert you want to use here. So, when it comes to Ramu or even Shiva, those two experts are more worthy, more worthy to bring in. Then it comes to magic users, so you have a bunch of magic people to then you can work with. However, I mean there are units where it's like you can actually use them here and they work just fine. So, and there's, it looks like, it looks like according to the screen still, you actually have two of them. So one of them will use wild resonance that restores the HP, bring its attack, defense, and speed up to themselves. The other will use shred flame, a fire element melee break attack, followed by an HP attack, among other powerful attacks. When one of them is defeated, the surviving member will cast, cast Ignite Roar, that creates max brave up, HP region, attack up and speed up to self, and unleash even more powerful attacks. Since they are weak to ice, thunder, and magic attacks, try using characters that exploit their weakness. So, of course, you get the cycle event. So, when it comes to off banner units, you probably want to get this dispelled. However, with the Neil, I'd rather use Ferris for this event yeah, than the Neil because the Neil, you only get rid of. I mean, even if you get her 35 CP weapon, you can only get rid of three of the buffs. With Ferris, it's pretty much the spell and debuff at the same time. And with Ferris, it goes up to eight. Her uses is with eight turns instead of whatever Vanille has. So I'm probably so for this event I'm going to be using an off banner unit and it's probably going to be Ferris because when it comes to like debuffs and whatever I'd read the best one I have I know for a fact is in fact Ferris and Ferris is one of those units that has a special place in my heart but you whatever you want to use is up to you so this is Wolvie here and I'm going to catch you all on the flip side.